Welcome to Dubai, everyone. Bit of a different looking stadium today for challenge number three in terms of the T20 All Stakes teams. Today is wicket keepers. So keepers only against India. This will be a challenge. Of course, we have done a couple of occasions where we've had T20s. Uh, we've done bowlers versing uh, an only bowlers team. We've done an only batting team. Today is obviously only wicket keepers. So we're probably going to be awful with the ball. We should be all right with a bat. India are going to bat first. We're going to bowl first. Let's see how we go. I feel like this is probably the last time I'll do this challenge. I don't know whether I'll do one for the all-rounders. I feel like it's probably... Uh, a little bit too easy if you do it with all-rounders. They should all be pretty good. Anyway, it's Rizwan with the ball to start things off. And Sharma has absolutely smashed me to the boundary. So this will be the problem is, will we have any sort of skill with the ball or are we going to get hit for about 200? Uh, similar to how we saw that play out is uh, the batting team bowling. No one really has any idea what to do. That's pretty nice. That's a little outside edge. It's going to be the one. Short ball is pulled away. That's probably going to be yet another boundary. We're actually going to try a bit of spin here with Nicholas Puran. Not sure if you've ever seen him bowl before, but hopefully he's all right. Uh, that's not a great start. It's all the way for six. He's come down. Oh, is it a catch? No. Oh, it's high. I think that's six. You will be catching that in the crowd. England's Joss Butler giving the ball now. Of course, we got keepers from all over the world. That's going to be six more runs, if you don't mind. In case you're wondering, who is the man who's actually keeping in the field for the keepers? Oh, it's Australia's Alex Carey. So he's the one down there. That's going to be four as well. For India. That one is slashed. Through the offside for a couple of runs. And they'll bring up the 50 at the end of four overs. Now we turn to India's Rishabh Pant, who is, of course, not playing in this India side uh, that we're playing against. But apart from the wide to start the over, this has been pretty good. Could just be the one. Jeez, I didn't realise Butler's first over went for 20. Wouldn't have bowled him again if I realised that was the case. Here's six more. I'll be surprised if I actually take a wicket through this entire innings. There's uh, more runs. Uh, four more of them. Oh, it's fine. It's four. Disappointing end of the over. It was a pretty good one other than that. Oh, it's a chance maybe. Raul on the boundary. Can he take it and stay inside the rope? He can. There's the first wicket. Nicholas Peran. Unbelievable scenes. He gets rid of Shubman Gill. Whipped in the air. And I think six. Yeah, just. So we're at the halfway point, 99 on the board. Oh, is that a catch? Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> Peran has two. Coley has to go after just a couple of balls. He's come down. That is a very low catch. But, of course, you would expect nothing good then good wicket keeping from the keepers. It's uh, two for 99. Surya Kumar Yadav comes to the crease. Oh, this is very high. This should be taken. Man circles himself underneath it and takes the catch. Not sure why we didn't go to the little mini game. Piranha's three. That's the big wicket of Rohit Sharma. And KR Rahul was underneath it. Three for 100. The, the wicked keepers are back in it. Dinesh Kartik, DK. Comes to the crease now for India. Three for 100 off 10.3. We've just got a couple of wickets in the over. Paran, the pick of them. He's our only spin bowler. That's why he's about to be bowled out. But he has been absolutely terrific. Taking three wickets and going it just uh, over a runner ball. How quick can I bowl it, do you reckon? Oh, is that taken? Did it carry? No. Oh, there's a chance. Maybe. But it's six. Oh, a little outswinger from Josh Inglis. I reckon that's going to be six. Catch that if you can. And now whip to the leg side. First down the ground. And another one. 
That's just four. It's in between the fielders. That's a pretty good ball, but it's well hit. Full and wide. And it's six more to end the over. Can't do that. Can't bowl there. Whipped four. It's been a challenge keeping this bowling unit together for what is a very, very inexperienced bowling lineup. It's three for one, five, three. Too many extras. And then a big six. Really not helping the keeper's cause. Cut. Oh, it was in the air for a moment, but it's found the gap. And that's in the air, and that is six. And this is looking like a massive, massive total. Not going to lie, this has been a real struggle of the bowling performance. We haven't had that much variety. Pants really the only one who bowled left armers. Uh, we only had Puran who bowled off spin. Everyone else is just a flat track, right arm slow bowler. And that's ordinary stuff that I'm dishing up. You can't, do, you can't do anything about that. Tip, just don't bowl there. Some of them can bat well. Others can't. That's going to be six more. I have pegged this back. It's not as bad as it was originally looking. At one stage, this was looking like this was going to be, you know, a 240 score. Hopefully, it's 220 or less. Oh, chance! Beating the man. Going to be four. Fielder's sort of running outside the boundary rope. No idea what you're doing there. I will say this, though, about our batting lineup. There's a lot of power. So despite there being 222 plus on the board, I think we're a decent shot. 222? We'll take it. A strong Indian batting scorecard. 222 on the board. Nicholas Puran, the only one to take the wickets. Can we chase it down? I'd like to think so. So Josh Butler, Rishabh Pant, starting it off. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar has the ball. So here we go. Kumar to Butler. Little edge to start us off, but it's a run. That's not it. Oh, it might be a run out. It is. Butler, gone. That was dreadful. There's one thing you can't afford. Run outs. You just don't need them. That's gone absolutely nowhere and almost another run out. Whipped. Chance taken. Oh, it's two down already. Oh, this is so like me to do this. Doesn't get it square enough. And a good catch. Two wickets in the first over. Absolutely exactly what you would expect from me. It's two for two, chasing two, two, two. Oh, it was up and over, and I was hard in mouth for a second. There was a fielder in the deep down there. I was worried. That's a better shot. That's all the way for six. Lovely stuff. And he gets that nice and fine. That should run away. Get at least three. I think Carey's going to be pretty quick coming back here, but no, they'll settle with the two. Up and over. And one bounce for four. We cut that. Nice. Could be a couple. Man in the deep, though. Settles it for one. Great throw. Oh, lovely. Four more this time. Much needed boundary. And that one for those in a couple of overs. Mistimed, but it's straight enough. And Pant gets it over the top for another boundary. Whipped again, and more boundaries to come. Three fours in the over. Two for 51 after five. That's the 50 partnership, because we were, of course, two for one, if you do remember. Alex Carey's just contributed the four runs. In that time, Patel with the ball. Carey on strike. That's better from him. That might be six. Just for one bounce. Oh, just beats sort of a short mid-wicket just over his head. It was a chance that Pant finds the boundary. And up and over the offside. Carey goes. Just beating that fielder who sort of was almost running alongside the ball by the time he 
caught up to it. But two for 65, the keepers after six. Especially with plenty of wickets in hand. This is a great spot to be in. That single will bring up the 50 for Pant. He's been a revelation in this match. 50 from just 22, eight fours and one six. Haven't quite had the six hitting ability that we saw from India. But tell you what, we have been very good by finding the boundary on regular occasion. There is another one. Got it fine. Should be four again. It's just two straight. And he's got it fine again. It's again just too much on the pads. And right now, the required rate, 10.77. Current rate, going at a bit more than that. At 11 point something. This will be four again to start the next over. Whipped over the top. Four more. That is going, going, going towards that gap. Doesn't get there. Charge back for two and a big dive from Carey makes sure of it. That's a pretty good delivery, that. It's pretty well hit. It's a chance in the deep. It's taken. So the bowling change works. Three for 95. So the man from Pakistan, Mohammad Rizwan, he replaces. Rishabh Pant in the middle and, geez, that's almost out. And out. Another wicket. That's two in the over. Jadeja turning the game. Oh, a little outside head from Rizwan. He's got to go for a dark four for 95. Oh, lovely shot that. Using the pace of the ball for four. Brings up the 100. And that's power. Up and over the offside for six. Oh, yes. He's already done that once today. There's another. Oh, lovely, Mendes. One bounce four. And this is a perfect little combo we've got going on at the moment. Obviously, Carey, you feel like he could bat through. Similar to how he did uh, the other day against New Zealand in that test match where he was absolutely terrific. 98 not out in that. He could just bat his own way, be the anchor in this, and have these power hitters come in and around him. And that's exactly what Mendes is doing so far. Got that in the gap. No, not quite. Gets it fine. It's off the back of an edge. But it'll be a boundary. That's all that counts. Four for 128. And that could be six more. Mendes is flying. Yes. Six big ones. And this is the over. Mendes has taken over. He's already hit 20 in the last four balls. Moves to 46 from 16. Make that 50. Oh, no, he's out. I thought it was going to carry. Oh, I look like an idiot now, don't I? It's five for 148. Mendes out for 46, but a great knock in 17 balls. So we're back to two left-handers. Latham is the new man. Oh, wickets! That's two in two. Jadeja has another. And this time it's Carey. So the two set batsmen gone. Six for 148. I mean, the game would have been over if you take Jadeja out of the equation, to be fair. That's going to be four, though. First time we've been in for a boundary, I think. Oh, man out there. Should be out. Shea Hope finds him. Keepers move to seven down. Seven for 160. Still 63 needed. You're wondering who the keepers have to come. It's Nicholas Puran. And KL Rahul. Who can come in at 11 if required. Another boundary for Latham. And he's high. Is it far enough? One bounce four. Would have loved the extra two for the six. 54 needed off the final five. Jadeja, he's been a huge challenge getting rid of him today. This is his final over. If we can just see him off without losing a wicket, that'd be absolutely perfect. And he's perfectly straight down the ground. Might be six. One bounce. Oh, it is six. It's hit the rope on the full. That's a huge hit there from Latham. 
Not necessarily the distance, but the context of the match. Hitting a six against Jadeju has been very, very tricky to score against. No run there. No, no, no run there. Means we've got the pace we're coming up against next. No run. And outside of the six, absolutely nothing else in this over. Oh, and even that, I'm just not doing anything. Seven for 177, win 46 from the last four. Yes, Tommy Latham over the offside. That's small runs, four. That should be out. It's just over the top. It's going to be four. So especially with just 20 balls left, you can afford to swing for your life. That's what Latham's doing at the moment. Whipped. Is it over again? No, it's not. It's out. Big wicket for India. He hit 28 from 12, but Boomer gets the breakthrough moment. Just didn't quite get it over the man. Sky with the catch. 8 for 186. So they're keeping the left-right combination. Puran in at 10. All the fielders on the leg side. At least the ones that are in the deep. He's going to get a single, so he'll hold the strike. 36 needed off the last three overs. And India going to Chahal. Oh, to bowl some leggies. That's nice. So you imagine it's going to be Chahal, Bumrah, and then Chahal to finish off the innings. That could be very interesting. Two overs of spin. We have hit him for runs so far. And maybe the right-hander is the better man to face him. Yes, Inglis has found six. They've put a deep cover out now. It's a little straighter. They're going for a tough single. Causes the misfield. Oh, switch hits. Here's four. Bolt too straight, mate. Has gone straight. Should be worth two. In the middle of those two fielders in the deep. Peran running nicely. They'll get two. This has been a great over from Boomer. Just three off the first three. And Peran has six. So that changes things. 15 from eight. Oh, it's a full toss. And he's put it away as well. Six more. Look at that. Huge. The crowd in Dubai are witnessing some sort of a game of cricket. Nine from seven needed. Remember the spinner to bowl the last over. What we think anyway. And he's just going to get that away. They'll look for two. Inglis charging back to the bowler's end. Keeper's end is tight. I think he got back Paran. He does. Seven needed off the last. Chahal to bowl. Inglis on strike. And he goes straight down the ground. If it's six, it's the game done. It's one bounce for four. Three from five. Oh, he can't get it away. It's a shot. They are one shot away from finishing their story. And I think Inglis has enough on that to go all the way to the boundary. And the keepers get it done. Gee, what a result that is. 8 for 224, chasing India's 2 2 2. The Wikis. God, they were awful with the ball. Tell you what, look at the. Uh, I mean, the India's bowlers were just as expensive. Butler, 18s. Inglis, 17s. Puran, was he the player of the game? He probably should have been. In fact, he was. Not only did he have a little 20 not out, but he did take three wickets with the ball. 3 for 26, that was. And the keeper's getting it done with three balls to spare. A massive chase uh, in Dubai. Now, next time when we return, everyone, I think it's been a few years since we've done this. So I think we need to make a return and have Australia take on the World Eleven. So if you want to see that, make sure you're watching on Twitch. I might have already done it. But uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and smash like. And leave a comment if you're enjoying these challenges. I really have been. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.